Hello viewers, this is IT system admin, a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to fix Windows Media Player not working in Windows 10 computer. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. The Windows Media Player has always been a great app for playing music and videos on a Windows PC. This app supports various file format and is easy to use. Windows Media Player was once a built-in Windows app but it does not ship out of the box anymore. Because of this, the app is now prone to a lot of errors. A common issue you may encounter with this app is the Windows Media Player has a stopped working error. Okay, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to fix Windows Media Player has a stopped working error. Okay, in search bar, type services. Right click on services and click on run as administrator. Now scroll down. This is Windows Media Player Network Sharing Service. Right click on it and click on Properties. The status type will be manual. And look, the service status is stopped. You have to start the service. So click on Start. Look now service status running. Okay, click on apply, then click OK. Look, the status is running now. Okay, now close services. Hope this troubleshoot solve your issue. If your problem is still persist, go for second way in search bar type control panel. Click on control panel, the view by large icon and scroll down, click on troubleshooting. Now click on view all. Now look, this is Windows Media player library and click on it click on next and now uh, apply this fix media library is corrupted okay now close close it now open your browser google.com In Google search bar type media player codec pack. Now hit enter. The site is media player codec pack dot com. Okay, now open it now I scroll down for windows 10 8 7 vista or 2008 okay now click on download Now, Media Player Kodak executable file is downloading. Download will take few minutes. Look, download has been finished. Now, click on open file. Now, click on yes. 
okay by default ed installation is selected click on next this is the license agreement click on i agree and by default these options are selected click on next installation started installation complete setup was completed successfully now installation complete successfully some settings may not apply until next restart your computer click on no now now you have to restart your computer now i'm going to log in my computer Hope after restarting your computer, your problem has been solved. This is all for today. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Keep watching for next tutorial. Thank you very much.